Now, Holiday Man is out of jail tonight. He's back home after Unified Police busted him with a slew of exotic snakes. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher has an exclusive look at the man's home. Also, why he says he is distraught over what happened. Lauren. Yeah, Kelly, so the story that this man is telling is about how much he loves his snakes, but UPD said they started to get some complaints, which led to an undercover investigation. And from there, they found some things that they said were concerning even just beyond having those snakes. To Marty, these are family photos. My kids. His kids, Burmese pythons, or berms as he calls them. Each one has a name, like Lumpy or Stubbs. Some more than 15 years old, up to 30. Everything I've done is just for the snakes, not for me. Marty says he lets them roam his hallways, his house, their habitat. They even sleep with him in bed. Been doing this for 45 years. Nobody's complained up until today. Last week, police showed up at Marty's house, they said, after they received complaints and after Marty allegedly sold a baby python he bred to an undercover officer. Uh, arrest me for selling baby snakes that they people sell at their... Uh, a reptile Expo. UPD took Marty's 20 pythons, half of them more than 10 feet long, and in the backyard. In the back of the home were the uh, what they call feed animals, which included 585 rats. And in addition to that, there were about five dead rats, um, 46 rabbits. And in addition to that, there were four dead rabbits. Even if they were for feeding the snakes, nearly 600 rats and dozens of rabbits at one home is a problem, UPD says. So is owning or selling pythons without an exotic animal permit. I think it's it's about, you know, the, that situation with that many animals in a residential area. Um, I think that there would be a, a, a big concern if those, if those rats got loose. Uh, let alone the, the snakes, especially the size of some of those snakes. Marty argues he didn't realize his license expired three years ago. He says he's always made sure to follow the rules and he knows the risks. And I accept living with them no matter what the danger is. But to Marty, these aren't dangerous. They're family members that have now been taken away. That's my life. I, I'm over. How most of the charges that Marty was arrested on had to do with not having that exotic animal permit. Now, I did talk with Salt Lake County Animal Services today. They're the ones who seized the snakes. They said that uh, a couple of different rescue groups have stepped in to find homes for all the animals, that the snakes, uh, from our understanding, were pretty healthy, but the rats and the rabbits uh, were not as good off. Live in South Salt Lake, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.